In West Asia, it's the exact opposite. A new wave of violence is sweeping through Israel. Eight days, three attacks, 11 people dead. The first incident was on the 22nd of March. A Palestinian stabbed and killed four Israelis. Later, he was shot dead by an armed civilian. The second incident was on the 27th. This Sunday, Palestinian gunmen shot dead two border police officers. The attack was claimed by the Islamic State. The latest incident was on Tuesday. A lone gunman killed five people in Tel Aviv. Later, he was shot dead by the police. These three attacks were not linked to each other, yet there is a pattern here, a pattern of rising violence. In each case, Israel responded in kind. Earlier today, they carried out a raid in the West Bank. Two Palestinians were shot dead. Now, we know how volatile this conflict is, how quickly it can escalate. And right now, that's where things are heading. Let me show you some pictures. Massive crowds are turning up for funerals. There are protests. There is mobilization. None of this bodes well for the peace process. And just to be clear, these are terrorist attacks. Nobody is defending them. Israel has every right to crack down hard. Even Arab states are in full support. I would like to um, uh, point out uh, that we completely and utterly um, condemn any kinds of violence, um, as we've witnessed uh, so many um, uh, tragic attacks uh, on civilians on both sides, and especially uh, what happened uh, last night. I would like to start by reiterating Morocco's strong condemnation of the terrorist attacks of yesterday in Hadera and uh, present our sincere condolences to the victims and our uh, wish uh, of uh, recovery to all the injured. Uh, our presence today is, I think, the best response to such uh, attacks. There is global condemnation of these attacks, so Prime Minister Naftali Bennett has a free hand. He has ordered 1,000 soldiers into Palestinian territories, but their mission is tough. Because next month, April, is rather special. Three festivals have bunched together. Ramadan for Muslims, Passover for Jews, and Easter for Christians. It is exactly the kind of situation that extremists can exploit. Prime Minister Bennett did talk about this on Tuesday. He said, Israel is entering a challenging period. Listen to what he said. We are at the start of a challenging period. We are experienced with terrorism since the beginning of Zionism. They didn't break us then, and they will not break us now. The secret of our existence is our solidarity and our determination to safeguard the home we have built at any cost. Citizens of Israel, we shall prevail this time as well. And that's not all. The Prime Minister had a suggestion for his citizens, an ominous suggestion. He's asking Israeli citizens to arm themselves. To quote him, whoever has a gun license, this is the time to carry it. This is the Prime Minister speaking. Clearly, he, is, he expects an escalation. The question is, why now? Well, we can think of two reasons. Number one, the Palestinian cause is losing momentum. Just last week, we saw a six-way summit in Israel. Among the participants were four Arab countries. Guess what happened on that same day? The first of these three terrorist attacks, Arab states are putting Palestine on the back burner. This is an effort to retake attention, except it is doing the exact opposite. It is, it's further defeating the Palestinian cause. And reason number two, Palestine's failed politics. Mahmoud Abbas has been Palestine's president since 2005. Their last election was in 2006. You can imagine how disenchanted the youth are. There is no organized political movement, no outlet for political expression. And this vacuum is being taken over by extremists, even the Islamic State. Israel fears more ISIS-inspired lone wolf attacks are being planned, and these are hard to detect. Lone wolves work alone. They do not follow set patterns, and they easily merge into society. So West Asia is set for a tense month, a restive Palestine, a sensitive festival season, and a confident Israel bolstered by Arab support.